Hey, uh, good to see each of you. Thanks for joining us for uh, Wednesday Wisdom. Monday night was quite a surprise for a lot of people after six months of almost no liquid from heaven. God blessed us with great rain uh, and a very surprising snowfall. Man, what a beautiful rain, what a beautiful wet snow. And it just reminded me when I looked at that, how precious it is when you receive water from heaven. I mean, we can put a water sprinkler on our yard, we can put a water hose on our trees, and we can do the same thing to our shrubs and our flowers, but I want you to know in the next couple of weeks, what you're going to see after all of this melts in, especially with the temperatures coming this weekend, you're gonna see a green like we haven't seen in probably six months. You're gonna see flowers begin to bud. You're gonna see trees respond to this because there's just something special about water from heaven. That tap water and well water and a sprinkler system and a water hose just cannot do. And so I was reminded of a passage in Isaiah, it's Isaiah 55 uh, verses 10 and 11. It says, as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return to it without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish so that it yields its seed for the sower and bread for the eater. Verse 11, so is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I send it. So I'm reminded that, you know, a lot of times in our life, we kind of catch a passage of scripture out of the Bible in passing. Maybe somebody re makes reference to one, or maybe we see somebody post a scripture online and we see it and we like it and it's neat, but it's kind of the same as you know, water in your tree with a water hose or a sprinkler. It does something, but it doesn't do what God does. And so God's word, when you open up like a real Bible, not your Bible app, like a real Bible, and you dive into the bread of life, when you dive into the word and you drink from that water and you get a pen and you get a highlighter and you get in there and you get some fresh revelation from the word of God, it is like water from heaven. Because just like you're gonna see in the coming weeks, the grass and trees and shrubs and flowers respond to heaven water. When you get into this, for you, you're gonna flourish as well. Oh, you'll maintain along the way, but when you really dive into the Word of God, it'll come alive in your life and it'll produce more than you could ever produce just little seeing a scripture here or hearing somebody else read a scripture. There is something about fresh revelation from God that has your name on it that comes alive in the bread of life in the Word of God. And so I want to encourage you, as you see nature respond to the water and the wet snow and all the nitrogen that was in this snow, when you see that start happening, I want you to be reminded the same thing's happening to you. Even the burn areas that were burned the last couple of fires that we've had, you watch how grass grows right there. You watch how fast that turns green because God is going to bring life from death. That's what his word does. And so if it's been a while for you, if you've been in a drought or if you've been kind of token uh, looking at the word, I pray and hope that you will jump into the word of God with a highlighter and with a pen and start underlining the precious nuggets that God has for you in his word that has your name on it and watch yourself grow at a speed that you have not seen in a long time. Your body is created by God and it needs the word of God for nutrition. It, he wants to grow you and you can't grow otherwise. And you can maintain and keep it alive by a scripture here or there, but when you dive into the word on your own, it will come alive. And let me remind you of verse 11 again. So it is with my word that goes from my mouth. It will not return void. It will not return empty. And watch this. It will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose in which I sent it. So enjoy the bread this week. Enjoy living water this week. Eat here, drink from heaven and watch yourself flourish like it's never flourished before. Thanks for joining us. I pray it's meant something to you. Thank you.